Good morning, General Counsel. We are here partway through the morning of Monday, the second full day of our General Counsel 43, uh, the third day, because we really did kick off on Saturday with our Festival of Faith. And this morning, commissioners and guests are spending most of their time in the plenary. And we are coming out of a decision last night, a vote that was made on enacting the remits that have gone through the various courts of our church over the past number of years. So I am joined this morning by Kathy Hamilton, Reverend Kathy Hamilton, who is in ministry with uh, Montreal and Ottawa Conference and was also the chair of the Comprehensive Review Task Group, the group that was formed in 2012 and brought forward recommendations to the 42nd General Council. And those formed the recommendations for the remits that were enacted last night. So Kathy, let's start off. Can you tell us how you're feeling today after these remits have been enacted? Well. I'm not someone who speaks very easily about my feelings. I'm mostly a thinking kind of person. But I'm reminded of the story of fishing on the other side. You know, and we used that story at the beginning of the comprehensive review. And those guys were in their fishing boat, and they weren't catching anything. And there's been a lot of time of frustration about feeling like you weren't catching anything. And then Jesus, the guy on the shore, said, put your nets in the other side. And they hauled in this huge load of fish, 153, I think. You know what? The whole boat was destabilized because of those fish. And so mm -hmm. I think that story kind of captures for me some of the feelings I have, a sense of some of that frustration that we got through, a sense of the destabilization that happens as a result of the fish in the boat, and yet a sense of, I don't know, pride in the church that I belong to that we've gotten to this place where maybe we can have a banquet on the beach. Mm -hmm. So there's a sense of that for me, a sense of mixed feeling. And do you feel that this morning? So the, the remits were enacted by, they were voted separately last night. Um, and, and then what's, what's the feeling this morning as you come in to general counsel as serving as a commissioner? Do you, does anything feel different? I, I hear a lot of hope. I, I hear a lot of hope and I hear a lot of, of, um, of reaching to be part of community. Feel, and I think that that's part of the spirit that we heard as we listened to the church. We want to put down some of the rigidness that we've had and have, a, in French we say souplesse, a, a more of a uh, go with the flow, finding our way, uh, not having to have all the answers. I have a bit of the sense of that growing in the, in the council. During the comprehensive review process, we used the word nimble a That's lot. That's a good word, yes. <laughs> that was one that really rooted us, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and so there are a number of remits that were enacted last night, but remit one is the one that will... Um, makes a recommendation to move to a three council model. So we have communities of faith, we have regional councils, and we have a denominational council. Um, and as many noted in the conversation last night, this is a big shift from our um, current four council or four court model. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think the next few years will look like as we begin to embody this, this transformation? Well, I think there'll be a lot of confusion. I think there'll be a lot of anxiety. I think there'll be a lot of... Um, Sadness as we uh, lose colleagues, as people, there will be people who lose their jobs about this. And uh, so there'll be a lot of that sadness. There'll also be, though, a lot of uh, tenacity and hope and dreaming and possibility that comes out of this. Um, so um, I think hold the course and, and keep the dreams alive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so one of the things that, that you offered to the comprehensive review process that you continue to offer to those of us who worked with you and to the church is this wonderful pastoral leadership. And uh, it's something even, for, I'll give a secret, a few nights ago, Kathy sent a note to those of us who served together. And uh, it just this ability to sort of offer that sense of hope and, and so I want to thank you for, for doing that for, for me and for the church. Um, and I wonder, what, what do you think our, our most important way of living out that hope will be? Or how do we as communities continue to be people who bring about hope? We, um, 
Well, I, I sent those notes over the whole course of the time because we were community together and we need to, to bear each other's joys and our, each other's hopes. We need to be community together. And if there's, we're not alone. We are not alone. We, we do this and that means for me we are not alone because God is here. But we're also not alone because we have people together. And if we are able to reach out to those people in an honest and caring way, we transform the world through the, the so through the expansion of love, and the, it sounds trite, but that's what I believe it. It's it, an, a model that we can all strive to live by. So, thank you so much for all that you offer this church of ours, and uh, we'll look forward into the future as transformation continues, and give gratitude for the work that has brought us here, and look forward to where we have to come, knowing that God is already out there in the world, um, moving us and stirring us to to faith and hope and new life. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks so much. We'll join you later today, General Counsel, with more interviews and keep you up to date on the latest news. Talk to you later.